Hi, my name is Jonathan. I care about your health. I care about my health. I care about your family's health, and I care about my family's health. And this is part three in the series about cooking oil. Um, it's a little bit different today. Uh, it's actually a twofer. I'm going to talk about two different videos uh, for the part three about cooking oil. Part one is going to be about the actual cooking oil. Part two is going to be a little bit more on the skin side of the actual oil, but the same process, same idea, same concept, um, but one is going to be for cooking and one is going to be for skin. Uh, remember to always talk and use and watch the original source. So what I'm trying to do is summarize it into digestible bite-sized pieces so that you can consume it easily. Um, but if you want to watch the original source and the original video, please do. I encourage you to do that. The first one is called Elliot Homestead. I'm not familiar with this video channel, but it is a wonderfully cinematic, visually stunning um, uh, video. Um, she has 258,000 subscribers as of March the 8th, 2022. Uh, this video that I'm going to talk to talk about has 63,000 views. It's approximately 15 minutes long. It was made on July the 1st, 2021, and there were 186 comments on it, and I commented on it as well. Uh, the video title is Super Easy Homemade Flavor Oils. Hot chili oil, garlic oil, and rosemary oil. Um, again, the video was, was stunning in the cinematic, edited uh, format that she used. And her garden was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It starts with a huge rosemary bush. She takes a couple uh, twigs off the rosemary bush. Um, she's walking outdoors in her garden fantastic. You should always walk outdoors as much as possible. Even a chicken makes a cameo. Um, she pulls garlic straight from the soil, uh, and she's going to use both rosemary and garlic to make her oil. Uh, I liked the way that she talked about individually crafting these oils. So she never uses an exact recipe. She never uses a precise measurement. She never uses an exact temperature um, but still, the final result is wonderful. She starts sipping a little bit of wine, and she starts uh, talking about an advertisement uh, website developer around the two-minute mark. More power to you. You know, get 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 it get it. Let's let's go. Um, she uses bulk olive oil. Now she has specific olive oil for again the the vinaigrettes. It's the cold pressed. It's the dirty, junky, smelly olive oil. She doesn't use that for cooking. She uses a bulk grade olive oil for cooking, and she actually uses the fresh herbs like I talked about, the rosemary and the garlic. Um, so first, you take a stovetop, you put the oil in a uh, some sort of pan or some sort of uh, container, you put it on the stovetop, you heat it, you never boil the oil. Don't boil the oil. Uh, she talks about simmering, she talks about low grade heat. Uh, very low, very slow, about a 30-minute process. And then she puts the rosemary in the oil. She puts the garlic in the oil. And she actually uses red pepper flakes for her third one. And it infuses the essence into the oil. So the red pepper flake oil gets hot. The olive oil garlic gets smelly and stinky like olive oil. The rosemary oil smells like rosemary. So, um, just absolutely wonderful. I've thought about doing this in the past myself, uh, and actually at the end of this video, I tried it for the first time. Now, I didn't do it exactly correct, but I'm going to change that. Uh, so then she talks about um, uh, family time. There's a little family photo. Uh, she makes espresso coffee. Um, fantastic. She strolls around the garden for a little bit. Just with a garden like that, you should. You should absolutely stroll barefoot through that garden every single day. Uh, she then lets the oil cool to room temperature. She leaves the garlic and the rosemary and the, the red pepper flakes in the oil. She then strains it with a wire mesh strainer. She labels it. She labels it. She labels it. You must label your oil. Um, she talks about that fresh oil and fresh herbs 
about a month uh, in, in shelf life. Um, you should always smell it before you use it. You don't want it to go rancid. You don't want to put mold in it. You don't want to get bacteria in it. Um, remember, you're trying to kill that off when you heat it up. But just in case, it can last for about a month. In a cold, cool, dark cupboard, it may last for a little bit longer. Um, uh, the oil will actually change color. So the, the oil will actually get a green or red or, or a, a slightly different hue. And the smell, I could imagine the smell is absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, I found it cinematically pleasing to the eye. It was a well-produced video. Um, not the greatest fan of horn music. And she does have a lot of horn or trumpet or trombone or something like that. If it's ska music play all the horns you want. Uh, not the greatest fan of, of this music, uh, but, but it was, a, again, a fantastic garden, visually stunning, good information. Thank you very much, the Elliott Homestead. Uh, the second video that I talked about, or that I will talk about, is called, uh, is from Melissa K. Norris, Modern Homesteading. Now, she actually has 312,000 subscribers, so let's go, Melissa. Um, uh, sh this video that I'm going to talk about has 48,000 views. It's about a 13 minute video and it was made back in December 23rd of 2017. There were only 62 comments left on this video, so I don't understand exactly what happened there. Um, this video is called how to make herbal infused oil with dried herbs. Um, now remember the previous one used it fresh herbs. She uses dry herbs. But Melissa talks a little bit about the body care aspect of it, or the face aspect of it, or the medicinal properties of this oil, not necessarily the cooking side of things. She does mention the olive oil, she does mention the coconut oil, and she also mentions something called jojoba oil, J-O-J-O-B-A, jojoba oil, best that she uses for her skin, uh, for, her, um, for her face, uh, and I've heard of this oil, not very familiar with it though. She recommends dry herbs because they do not have moisture in them. The, the, the moisture is already taken out. So they actually are, are stable for a much longer time, according to Melissa. Um, she is very how-to. This is what it is. This is what you do. This is how you do it. I like that approach. Uh, she's in her kitchen. Uh, I find it... Um, very easy to watch, and I find the information very, very good as well. So first, you get a jar with a lid. Um, uh, the whole entire process, if done properly, can take approximately four to six weeks if you use the sun. Um, so she takes a, a little bit of, a, 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 of an herb. She uses calendula. She uses um, uh, arnica oil in her, in her other one. Uh, Culendula is actually very good for wounds. It's actually good for skin care. So it's a very good medicinal herb. Um, uh, there's a weird edit mark uh, that kind of skips a little bit, but but uh, that's, a, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, so she puts the dry herb into the container. She pours the olive oil uh, over the top. She uses a little bit of space uh, so that she can shake it up. Uh, and some of the oil, some of the oil will actually absorb into the dry herb. Uh, and so there's a little bit of room for expansion. Very smart. Uh, she will stick it in a window that is south facing. Usually that's the best for, for uh, the America. Uh, so we are in the northern hemisphere. So the sun lasts the longest in the southern portion of the, the home. Uh, again, label, label, label. You need to know what herb it is. You need to know what date it is. Um, but if you use the sun method, it can take four to six weeks for all the essence of the dried herb to get into the oil. The faster way is she actually uses a hot water bath, which is a little bit different from, from the previous video. Um, the arnica oil that she uses is great for joint care. It's great for pain management. It's great for for rubbing on your, your wrist or your elbow and that type of thing. Arnica oil is wonderful for that. Um, so she actually uses a hot water bath, like I said. She does not boil the hot water. She lets it sit there for about eight hours, gets nice and warm. 
Uh, she lets it cool because remember oil gets hot and you can burn yourself, so don't do that. Again, don't let the water boil. Strain the oil. She actually uses a coffee filter and a wire mesh strainer. And she says that this can store in a dark cabinet for anywhere from 6 to 12 months. So she says it's a lot longer shelf life uh, specifically uh, because of, of the dried preparation uh, and, and the, uh, the lack of moisture content as well. Um, she then at the end of the video goes into uh, the fact uh, that she's advertising for lip balms and soaps and beeswax, but she advertises that you can make these yourself. Wonderful, handcrafted, awesome. Uh, I, I love the fact that she talks about growing your own medicine, and I love the fact that she's talking about making your own medicine. Uh, and, and so I liked the video. It was straight to the point. It was how to, it was easy to understand. So again, uh, modern homesteading with Melissa. I, I liked it. Uh, I liked it a lot. And then the Elliott homestead, uh, wonderfully cinematic. That was more cooking oil instead of medicinal, uh, skin rub, skin preparations. Okay. Hopefully you found this good. I'm at 11 minutes, so thank you. See you later. Bye.